One of the biggest mysteries about Resolve, uh, I receive questions about this all the time, is how do I save my project? We're all used to Premiere's Pro workflow, for example, where you have a you, you hit save as and you can save your project anywhere, you know where your media files are, and it's all cool and easy. However, Resolve works in a different way that is usually a mystery because how do you save a file? And most importantly, what if you want to switch system? You want to buy like a new laptop. How do you move your old files the way they are to the new system? These are all things that are very easy to perform. However, not a lot of people uh, understand them. So today we're going to be taking a quick look on how are you comfortable? So let's take a look at the problem first. Now, this is a project. This is just a sample project that I have here. I'm going to come to file and I'm going to hit save project as. So I want to save my new project. However, I don't have any option here that answers the question, where do I save the file? So I'm just going to hit cancel now. Now, there are two main ways of doing this in Resolve. You can actually save a single project to move it from one system to another, or you can move your entire database. Now, what's a database? A database is simply a collection of all your projects and all your settings and all your information across multiple accounts, all saved into one single file. And you can always move this single file from system A to system B, which means that you can move all your projects or your settings or your user accounts, everything between systems. Now, let's first take a look at saving a single project. Now I'm going to come here to resolve. I have this project open. I'm just going to go to file and save project as. And as you can see, there is no information on where to save the project to. The project will always be saved to the same location in the database. So now if I call this project save as, for example, and I just save it, now I have a new project called save as. And if I go to my home here, if I click on home, now I have this new project created here, which is called save as. As we said, we're going to take a look first on saving a single project. Now, if I right click on the project itself, it might seem like we have a lot of options here. However, the main two options are export and import. They're the same thing. So you can export your project and you can archive your project. Now, what's the difference between exporting your project and archiving your project? It just comes down to media files. So for example, if I come here and I go to export, now I have a new file. I can just save it to desktop here. I'm just going to go to desktop and I'm just going to keep the project's name to save as and hit save. Let's go to the project itself. I'm just going to go to uh, the home screen here. This is our project. It's a .drp file. However, if I right click on the project and I go to get info, this is a very small file. This is a 388 kilobytes. So what we exported now is not the project. It's just an EDL that still needs the media files to be linked to, which is great. But you just have to remember that this is not a contained file. This is simply an EDL that was saved uh, into your system and you can use it to, and you, you just have to link your uh, project files back to it again. Okay, so this was the first option. I'm just gonna close this, come back to resolve. And now if I hit home, go to the same project, right click. And this time, instead of going to export, I'm gonna go to archive. And now it's just giving me the same option. It's just asking me for a location and a save as project. So I'm just gonna still uh, name the project save as and hit save. And now it's asking me for a very important thing. Where should it save the archive to? Okay, I'm gonna browse here and go to desktop and uh, save as untitled. I'm gonna go to save as archive and I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm going to hit OK. And what's happening right now is that Resolve is copying and rendering all the required media files for this project to function again. So we're just going to create a folder where it hosts the EDL or the uh, Resolve project with all the media required to run this project again. So this is very beneficial if you want to send this project uh, to someone and you want to make sure that this project will work as intended by whoever you send the project to. This is very important because now it's copying all the required media files and rendering all the cache files and all the information it needs into a folder. Now, when we're done, let's take a look at this folder. Now, this is our new folder, which is called Save As Archive. I'm just going to double click on it. And inside, I have a project.drp and I have another file called Media Files. Now, let's come back to our main folder here. Right click and go to Get Info. And notice this is a 5.6 gigabyte file. This file contains all the media files and all the stills and all the information it needs 
in order to run this project again. So now I can simply send this folder to anyone and it's guaranteed that whoever opens the project again, it will open the same way. Let's take a look at this. So now I'm just going to come to the project manager back here again. I'm going to right click and go to import. And now I'm going to show it the uh, folder on the desktop. And this is my project file. I'm just going to double click on it. Okay. And the imported project is complete. And notice now I have a new project here that is simply called project. If I double click on it and I open it, it's identical to the first project. The only system is whoever receives this folder is guaranteed to be able to run this project the same way it was running on the original system. So this these are two very simple ways now of exporting one project. Remember, at one point you're exporting an, uh, an EDL file or something that looks like an EDL and you still have to link it to your original media. So you need the hard disk that you know had all your media on it so you can link them together. The other option is with archiving where you export a single self-contained folder that includes everything. So now what about exporting the database? Now let's take a look at our database here. I'm just going to come to home here and notice that I have now a lot of projects. Projects. If I come to Alex here and I go to log off, now I have users. So there's a user called admin, another user called Alex, BPS. Every single user here has uh, projects under his or her name. So let's say, for example, I double click on Alex. I have all these projects that were created by Alex. If I come here and log off, for example, and go to BPS, this is a different account. These are all the other projects that are created by BPS. So the database is simply all this information. So it's all your user account with all the projects, uh, you know, without the media files. Remember, this is a very elaborate system of resolve projects and users, but without the media files. But this is very important. You might want to take your uh, hard disk, plug it into a different uh, system, and you just want it to work the same way it worked in the original system. So you're going to have to know how to export the database. So from the log screen here, I have a database button here. If I click it, now I can see my databases or let me just close this. If I'm logged into any user here, like BPS, for example, I can simply click here on the top right and I have the database button. Now, if I click, notice that this is my database. So currently, this is a restored database that I'm using right now that is in this location and it just has a remark that it's a disk database. Now, I can simply come choose this database. It's the database I'm working on right now. And I have here a button called backup. If I click it, I'm just going to make this also on the uh, home screen. So I'm just going to come to desktop and hit save. So this is let's call this database something else. For example, um, we're going to call it DB1 and I'm going to hit save. Database may take some time. Yes, I'm just going to click yes. And now Resolve is going to create a full backup of this particular database. So I had to wait for some time actually, but now the uh, database um, has been uh, backed up successfully and I can just hit OK. And now if you come to the desktop, you have this new file here. If you right click on it and go to get info, it's um, it's around the gig of information. So it's 922 megabytes. This file contains all your information now. So if you go to any other system and you simply come to your username here and go to databases and go to restore database, and you guide it to this particular database, you will find all your files and all your projects and all your users exactly the same way you left them with this database. Now, this is very beneficial if you want to move from one system to another. Yeah, this was the way because I received a lot of questions about this. It seems to be the thing that um, because Resolve is a bit different in the way it works with um, with projects and databases than maybe other softwares. And if you want more tutorials and more information about color grading, uh, visit our free resource, learncolorgrading.com uh, to learn more. Thank you.